A small crowd of mourners gathered at the entrance to the metro station to lay flowers and light candles for the victims of Monday's blast, whose photographs stare back from the wall at the people gathered to grieve for them. Wednesday has been declared a day of mourning in the Belarus capital. Black ribbons have been attached to the national flag. All entertainment events cancelled. On state television, the president declared Monday's crime solved, saying the country's KGB had detained the perpetrators and secured confessions from them. But in a barely veiled threat, Alexander Lukashenko issued a wider warning, aimed squarely at his political opponents. We're searching for accomplices and those who ordered the bombing. Perhaps these so-called politicians will lay their cards on the table and point at the one who ordered the attack. Monday's bombing on the Minsk metro killed 12 people and wounded around 200 others. Prosecutors said security cameras showed the main suspect getting off a train, standing on the platform and then leaving a bag on a bench. At least two suspects, reported to be an electrician and a lathe operator, have been arrested. They are Belarus citizens, born in one of the regional centres. The main perpetrator was born in 1986. In the interests of investigation, I cannot disclose any other information at this moment. The US once described the Lukashenko regime as Europe's last dictatorship, and the president's landslide fourth re-election victory last December was followed by the arrest and imprisonment of hundreds of his critics, many of whom claim to have been beaten while in custody. The president has now given a new carte blanche to his security forces. Detain and question. Don't pay attention to any kind of democratic whinging of Western sympathizers. A new wave of political repression appears imminent. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera.